Here's our chance. Oh no. Shit. Oh crap. Ash. Ash. Oh. Oh. Jesus, Ash. What did he do to you? I think he hit me. Shit. I'm gonna murder his fucking face off. <laughs> what is this? This is him. Oh, Chris. This is the guy who killed Josh. No. God. You murder piece of shit! You oh, monster! Look around. We're gonna die, Chris. I don't think I'm ready to die. No one is going to die. <laughs> oh yeah, we are. I tell you, it's just not fair. <laughs> what? Tell me what? It's too late, Chris. What's the point? Stop it! Just say. We're always talking around it, and now, I mean, we've wasted everything. Actually, none of it was wasted. What do you mean? Every second that I spent with you was the only thing I ever wanted to do with my time. <laughs> what are you saying, Chris? I'm sorry. I, I should have told you how I felt. Chris. Ashley, no. I swear when we get out of this. Oh, God! No. Ashley, I'll get you out of this. I won't let you die. Hello there, my special little subjects. So oh, shit. Here, Chris. Oh, you should be, Ash. Because here's the twist. Chris has made one fatal choice already today. And now, you must make another. Chris, oh, no. you can take that gun in front of you and shoot Ashley. Or you can shoot yourself. What if I shoot the machine? Whoever's left can live. The choice is yours. <laughs> I tried. He tried. Don't be so silly, Chris. should be me. You chose to save me oh, before. Fuck. Let me choose this time. Let me choose to save you. I don't want to kill either if of I us. I one last thing in my life, let me do this. I don't want to make a choice, please. man. I just want people to survive. I don't want to kill anyone. I'm not going to do it. I refuse to play your games, you motherfucker. Either they both die or nobody dies. I'm not doing this! Controller, sit down! I, sh I probably- I'm gonna pick it back up because if there's a quick time event or something... No, I'm not- I don't want to shoot anybody! I'll point it at myself! Ah, goodbye, everybody! No! Ah! Well, that was ambiguous as fuck. You have gone too far now. Don't you see? Huh? Don't you see that this torture porn has gone too far? Huh? Now what gives you the right to play God in these people's lives? What makes you so special then? Huh? You're sick! You're a sick fuck! Now, what the hell have you done to them, huh? What the hell have you done to them? Psychopath. Psychopath. Okay. Well, that was an interesting turn of things. I figured it was an after events thing, but no. No, it's currently going on. Wow, this is weird. Oh, they're both dead. They're both so dead. Ah, let go! Ah! Shit. Shit. Shit.
Oh boy. Well, at least you're not with everybody dying currently, Sam. Hell, you could stay in this fucking vent all night. And unless the psychopath burns the place down, you'd be fine. Unless the ghost tries to kill you. Then that's a different story. Hey, maybe she'll find her clothes. It's in this general area. I think? I'm not entirely sure. I'm lost. We hardly get a chance to really explore the area. Well, okay, we get a chance to explore the areas, but I mean, like, map them out in your head. Alright, what do we got here? I'm trying to turn it over, but... There we go. <laughs> I want to look inside. Joshua Washington. Final psychiatric evaluation. Uh... Well point surgery referred on after incident school. What is this? So he's been getting treated for years. Referred on uh 314, 2014 due to potential suicide risk. So he's a suicide risk after his his sisters died. So he did something at school in 2007, 2009. He didn't want to be treated in 2009 as well. And then bad things happen. We had tests with drugs. Depression? Yep, okay. Patient reported that side effects, headaches, and nausea were becoming too severe and wanted to change the drug. Patient claimed that the drug was no longer having any effect. Reported that his mood had badly worsened. Uh, he's taking, he's medicating, or self medicating. If the patient reports any of the following symptoms, please contact, contact a physician immediately. Side effects hypotension, blurred vision, dizziness, insomnia. Oh my god, dude, he's going through all this shit. A uh, summary of treatment. Patient arrived delirious and confused. Strong symptoms of major depressive disorder related to death and disappearance of sisters. Place patient under observation. ECT was considered given a patient's history of tapering drug effects, but rejected. The new course of drugs was necessary. Patient moved into a non-sensitive MOA. What? Okay. So we know that Josh has a whole bunch of things happening to him, and he's super depressed. So I guess if he survived, this would be really important information to know. Because then we'd have to deal with him and his depression and learn how to treat him. Or deal with them. Oh my god, look how much this costs! 26,000? Actually, you know what? For 30 nights re residence? That doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> and just like thinking of the uh, American health system, it could have been like $50,000. <laughs> I'm just saying, fifty dollars to $100,000 just for all that. Poor Josh. He was a fucking suicide risk. I mean, I knew there was something uncanny about him. And I, I don't think it was just the depression, it's just, I don't think he would have actually been able to handle all that stuff as calmly as he was. Oh no. Whose phone is this? Dr. Hill? Hi Josh, it's Alan. I hope you don't mind me texting you, but this is important. I got your email, I don't think that your plan's gonna help. I think you're, you need to stop what you're doing and come to see me. Please pick up your phone, I'm worried. Leave me alone. Are you still taking your meds? I'm fine. It's very dangerous to stop taking your drugs mid-course, Josh. Contact my office to make an appointment, please. Josh! Josh, please respond. Oh no, if it turns out to be Josh who's the fucking... psychopath after all this, I'm gonna be really annoyed. There's no way that he made like a fucking fake dummy thing that ended up... Dying too, right? Oh, Grape City. Okay, but this is all stuff about Josh. So this isn't really creepy as much as it is sad, honestly. He's sad about his sister's death, her sister's deaths. So sad that he's gone off the deep end. And because he has aggressive episodes and he started taking, uh, t getting rid of his meds, or not taking his meds, now he's trying to kill all his friends. You know, that actually would make sense to me. But we saw him die. We saw him get chopped in half. That would have to be super fucking elaborate. Like the best made human puppet dummy thing ever. Hello. And thank you all for joining me. Tonight, we're gonna conduct a little experiment. Hello, hello, children. Nah, 
That's not right. <clears throat> Greetings, pilgrims. Holy shit. Oh boy. It sounds like the psycho rehearsing his speech, but suddenly the voice modifier cuts out and someone else's voice can be heard. But it was hard to make out. We have most of the clues for this guy. So all this other stuff was faked out. But was there actually a creepy dude trying to haunt them? So maybe it's not Josh exactly who was trying to get everybody killed. Maybe it's still some, like, third person dude. Oh, shit. Go back! Jesus! I was pressing O, like, immediately after I saw that guy. Oh my god. And she was just like, nope, gotta keep on looking. What's over here? Oh, no. First of all, we're gonna check this door. Because seeing whether or not a door is locked will really help us if we try to escape somewhere. Okay, what's in this room? Oh, hey! My clothes! That's a good thing to have. Huh. He was gonna record you. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus. Dummy in Sam's clothes. You can at least put on your top. Or something. I know it's not really the best time, but... You wouldn't have to worry about walking around safely. I mean, at some point, this shit's gonna fall. Off. Whoa! Huh? <sighs> Mike, what are you doing down there? There's a. Oh my! Thank God you found me. It's okay. Okay, you okay? How'd you get down here? I, I don't understand. How did you get here? How'd you find me? Just a fucking maniac up here on the mountain. Yeah, I've noticed. He lives in this, like, web of tunnels. I was down there trying to get out, and then I found this grate, and I saw you. Listen, this guy who you're talking about, he attacked me. He showed me these videos, too. And one of them showed Josh being killed. Just ripped apart by this huge fucking saw blade. Jesus Christ. I think he's living down here, and whoever the hell he is, he's obsessed with Hannah and Beth. Goddamn. What the fuck is going on around here? There's a door here. It won't open. Can you unlock it from your side? I can try. Can I put on clothes first? <laughs> like, I know it, you sh it, we should be taking the time, but it would literally take like maybe 30 seconds tops to put on all your clothes. And the dude doesn't know we're here. Okay, at the very least, we'll be joined up with Mike, and that'll give us a little degree of safety. Just a little bit. But man, we haven't seen Mike in a while. But at least it's canon. He's a survivor. Hey. Jeez, you look like hell. Nice to see you too. What are you doing? Well, actually, the towel didn't turn out to be the best outfit for fighting off killer maniacs, you know? No, she's getting her clothes in the backpack. Mind, Mike. Oh, yeah, uh, right. My bad. Thank God. All right. I figured she was just going to run around. Or I, I really thought she was going to end up walking around in the bath towel the entire night. I forgot that she put her clothes in the backpack, too. Okay. I'm into that. What's that? Is that... crying? No! No, 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 no! Get away! Oh, Chris. 
Oh, Chris, 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 Chris. What the fuck? They're blanks? You've heard of blanks before. I mean, really? No fucking way! Bullshit! Fuck you! Fuck this game! Fuck you, Josh! You're bullshit! Fuck you! You got sawed in half, motherfucker! Oh, God! Oh, you're alive too, bitch? Oh, God, God fucking God. damn it! God! He's oh, dead! Shit. He's dead! Because of you! Shit. Oh, shit! Fucking, you're kidding me! Uh, damn it! Uh. Oh, my God! I should have just let her fall! He would have lived! I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was Josh. He's still alive. What the fuck? What? He was caught in half! <gasps> I get it. 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 It was a magician's trick. He was not actually cut in half. Nope. Instead, it went into him. But it wasn't really cutting himself in half. He was just kind of probably like bent slightly. It was given the illusion that he was hanging. And what really came out were pig guts. Pig guts were getting sliced up. That's how I'm perceiving this because there's no other way he could have lived that. You don't live half your body getting cut off. Unless maybe there was a twin Josh, but I doubt that. So he's probably gonna be pretty mad that... We tried to slice him up. He was trying to make sure his friends were good people who wouldn't try to kill everybody, but nope. No. Shit! Shit! No. Well, maybe if you had fucking moved! <laughs> oh god, she says, just staring at the fucking giant machinery falling down towards her. Oh god. Here goes 600 bucks. Better be worth it or the great in that top. <laughs> I thought she was gonna use it on a leg, but she's actually using it on fire. That's smart! Good job! Now you're thinking, Emily! If you had been thoughtful before, maybe Matt would be alive! Ah, but that's my own fault. Tried to save people. Look where that got me. Well, let's look over the butterfly things real quick. Okay. So, run or hide. Sam made all the choices. Chris and Ashley found a dummy in Sam's clothes. Sam explored the psycho's workshop. Because she was able to survive. Um, point blank, Chris didn't shoot Ashley. And it, I guess they didn't update, but I mean, obviously they were alive afterwards too. So, so far, in terms of people who are actually dead, I would have to say it's probably, at the very least, Matt. Um, it's no longer Josh. Because apparently he's alive! Apparently he's totally fucking fine! Wow! Okay, so, uh... Or it's a twin brother. I doubt it. And Jess... We still don't know about Jess. I mean, again, when we looked at the totem... For Jess... It really looked like... She kind of recovered, but by herself. Right? It would not show this as her getting up by herself if you had successfully chased her down and she survived, right? It would have been her getting up and her seeing Mike. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so... The only things that we can confirm 
are that Hannah and Beth are fucking dead. Josh was just joshing his friends. And there's definitely cannibals in this fucking place. I'm just pondering... I'm pondering something, okay? So, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking about what's gonna happen if I try to run through this game again. The biggest thing for me is with Matt. So, with Matt, who gets the gun? Emily gave the flare gun to Matt. And because... Matt supported Emily's plan to go to the tower and get help, he fired the signal... and had no defense against the attack. So I'm really fucking wondering, is there a way for him to not fire the signal? <laughs> Do I have to argue with Emily on purpose and be like, Look, I saw you with all those things, man. 